Mary unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something fluid and silvery slithered out. It's an invisibility cloak, said Mary. They're very rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Mary read. Use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak, while Ron and Hermione helped him prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry, said Hermione. You can't stay invisible while you cast spells. Filch might see you. With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Where is he? Pray I don't find what's going on. Where is he? Pray I don't find you, my stealthy little student. Oh. What's going on? Who was that? Someone's got past me. gets past Argus Filch and makes a fool of him. With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. What's <laughs> that? Where are you, you sneaky slime? I'll catch you. Yes, I will. No! Oh. Uh. 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 
<laughs> Intruder! Intruder! In the forbidden corridor! Now, how can I get up there? Uh. 
Ha! Do you think I'm blind? I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. Peeves, you'll be banished for this.
That could come in handy if I have to distract Filch along the way. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Mrs. Norris, I could have sworn I heard footsteps in here, but... Yeah, blah. Let's check the library, my sweet. I've heard you for sure this time. Quick, Mrs. Norris. You keep watch from above. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. Intruder! about your Quidditch victory. Yes, well done, Harry. On to the cuppy, what? You, you sneaky slime! I'll catch you. Yes, I will. Huh. Uh. 
Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library for a bit, my dear.
my stealthy little student. Do you have 25 beans for us? <laughs> That's it! That's all the beans we need! Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Thanks, Harry. We really needed these. Remember, you don't know anything about us collecting beans. It'll be our secret, right? Come on, George. We've got work to do. Searched the secret of the Philosopher's Stone. It could produce the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts contained the Philosopher's Stone. It was the Philosopher's Stone that was down the Forbidden Corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Philosopher's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. Let's go! What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. <sighs> it looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Come on, let's go.
Harry? I think this is where the growling has been coming from. I don't think we should go in there. But we've got to stop Snape. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. <laughs> Only Hagrid would call this monster Fluffy. I'll try the flute. That might put Fluffy to sleep for a while. Do be careful. I don't. Right. See you in a minute. I hope. It's okay. It's a soft landing. You can jump. Come on, Harry. This is. It's the Devil's Snare. Next time I'm going to pay more attention in Herbology. Help! It's the Devil's Snare! Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Incendio! 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 Close, Harry. This way, Harry. You have to catch the key, Harry. Time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. Up. Good luck, Harry. Chessboard. 
son's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. Oh, Ron, are you all right? I've defeated most of the pieces, but I've been hurt. It's up to you now, Harry. <sighs> Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Do be careful. most of the pieces but I've been hurt it's up to you now Harry <sighs> Harry you have to be careful and avoid the pieces they all move one square at a time you'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely walk onto the board Harry to start the game do be careful by magical fire. Looks like you have to choose the right potion. Be careful, Harry. It could be poison. This one looks like it will help us through the fire. Watch closely and keep your eye on the correct potion. Then choose wisely. Here it goes again. Faster this time. I don't think I picked that one, but then I could be wrong. Oh no! Ouch! <coughs> Magical fire. 
looks like you have to choose the right potion. Be careful, Harry. It could be poison. This one looks like it will help us through the fire. Watch closely and keep your eye on the correct potion. Then choose wisely. again. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Succeed again.
Give me the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Give me the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this.
Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. So the stone's gone, said Ron finally. Harry nodded and wished it good riddance. Then Ron produced a brand new famous Witches and Wizards card from his robes and handed it to Harry. You've got the whole set now, Harry, Ron said. Harry was stunned. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional point had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight.